Cancers, welcome. This is your Heart Spread reading for January 2022. I love romance and relationship reading. And here, we're looking at you and the person that's on your mind. You're coming in with this Ace of Cups, Cancer. And I've already set this up, you know, excuse me for that. Trust me that I shuffled. We will look at the bottom of the deck and this reading too pretty heavily. It's eight cards. But um, looking at you, I try to separate this from the relationship that you're in. Just kind of see where you're at. And there's someone going around and you're, you're really ready for love. It's like you're walking around with your cup in your hand and you're kind of looking where to give it. In fact, I believe if this is your reading, uh, you would be a manifester. And I, I hope so. I'd, I'd like to attract that kind of energy. It's what I want to deal with a lot. So manifesting a relationship, then this is the position of how do you feel about your person? So I'm guessing you feel like you manifested this person. Now, the person you manifested over here could be an earth sign, you know, Taurus or Virgo or Capricorn personality. Um, this kind of implies more Virgo energy, six for one. And six of pentacles and you know um, you got the scale there um, so usually when I see this in this position it's someone that's dealt with a lack of reciprocation in the past and maybe as a pattern but it's heavy on them and um, sixes I mean pentacles you know uh, it's things and money could be as simple as them not paying the bills or not paying half the bills or uh, but it, it probably goes deeper. Um, and the problem in sixes are very active, so they, and they're looking into the reading, so they're very much bringing this energy uh, to the relationship here. Um, now, I just can only imagine um, that what they would get from you with the Ace of Cups is uh, kind of everything. So um, I would imagine this is why they have the Three of Pentacles here, Quite an interesting to go from the six pentacles to three of pentacles. Here, this is how they get to where, when they're reacting to you. This is how their energy changes, how they just are, and then how they are when they're with you. Um, and so I think the fact that you change from the ace of cups to the magician means that when you're with them, you feel like they're the one that you manifested. And when they're, when they're with you, and it's probably very significant if they have this earth sign energy, you know, that they are very solidly wanting to work with you. Uh, this is not only the good worker card, you know, this is here is about cooperation. You can see them cooperating here, uh, this three of pentacles, and it's very solid. Um, they would kind of be like really solidly wanting to align themselves with you, you know. Um, and there's a great deal of sincerity in the three of um, pentacles, just really good energy. I mean, six pentacles is good energy too. I just see it often when it's right in this position, it's carrying over that uh, deep-seated energy of not being reciprocated, and, you know, they would be really on guard for that. But you probably, like, just blew them over with your love and uh, appreciation, and I don't think that's an issue for them here. So your advice from Spirit for how to react in this relationship best uh, for yourself, um, you're coming out with the Queen of Wands here. Cancer, a lot of you have Leo in your chart could speak to that. You know, you could have uh, Mercury, Mars, or Venus, personal planets, or else. And, um, but this is like just being strong. And I think it's like st all that stuff about standing in your power. Um, it, it's coming under the magician here. It, it's an affirmation uh, that you are on the right path. That it, it basically you should assert and take control. And I do see you as like take control in this relationship and nothing else. It's like you have a real moral authority. And I believe with this three of pentacles, they, they recognize it. Like they might say to you, it's like, I, I know you understand and I want you to help me and explain to me. I mean, it could even be a humbleness about them too. It's a good thing about that Virgo inch. It's very humble. Um, and, you know, they may sense that there's this whole soulmate energy here this connection. I mean, you manifest a, a, a problem. You may have manifested a lesson. That often happens. But um, now, this is the advice from Spirit for them, I should say, first of all. Um, and I think that's just for them to, since this is in the advice position, they need to say something to you. 
Um, you know, let me, let me put a clarifier on that. Just actually, before I get going on that, what it is. Wow, the sun. Okay, so um, there's. You often see this to you. To them, you're you're a very powerful uh, person, um, and the energy you bring is very powerful, and it, it's a lot of love. But nevertheless, um, they might feel tend to feel a little overwhelmed. So what they need to say to you is like a statement or an assertion of their self. This is the self, the sun self. Um, so whatever, if they are, say, a Virgo sun, um, I'm not saying they saying they are, but if they are, or it could be Virgo moon, and very significant, Virgo Venus, all significant in relationships, so risings can be too. Um, it's like they need to shine a little bit. So the, the advice, uh, my advice would be then um, for you to really listen to that, you know, for them, they need to say that to you, and you really need to listen to that. Um, and kind of keep that in mind. Um, and it's a, a little bit of a balance, balancing the relationship because uh, there could be a, a little bit of an energy for them. It's, I don't know, like it's even like intimidating, even though it's great. I think it's probably great. Um, you know, look, you're like this queen. Look at this queen seems kind of powerful sitting up there. A little, you know, it's not, not a real approachable queen here, you know. Now, this is the advice from Spirit for the relationship as a whole, and that's, you know, um, this star card, hopes and dreams and wishes. And I think it's kind of like a massive confirmation. If I see the star card and the magician showing up and right in these positions, and you've got the queen of wands here, you really have control of this, you know. Now, i got opinions about this. It's just my feeling. I, I, don't, I don't know if... I don't really believe quite in twin flames, but I'm I'm open. It could happen, you know. But that would you would be the activator, and definitely would be the sleeper over here. Um, they uh, seem to recognize you, and uh, and for what you are, maybe recognize a connection here. Um, they just need to know that they're not going to totally lose themselves in the relationship here, and this is uh, also. It's um, confirmation to them as well that they won't lose themselves. It's very positive in this position. The crux of the heart spread, and Billy's probably the most important single card of the eight, would be right here. Um, and this promising that this is wish fulfillment here. This is for both of you. And the three of cups is fantastic, actually, to get anything to do here in the outcome with third parties. Here it often is. It's emotional energy, you know, uh, which I think we need. And um, you, Cancer, come in, you know, with your Ace of Cups. And it's, it could almost be with them a little bit of a breakdown process, breaking down their defensive. Because remember, they came in with this strong pinnacle energy of like, you know, I ain't going to get burned again, going to get burned again. And so it took some time, and they may have had to move away. I think this... Uh, Bottom of the deck, the six swords, it's all about your person. It may relate back to this one of swords too, kind of about what they need to say to you. Is there's this lack, like something they may have had to leave behind, you know, um, let go of as they move into this relationship. And so it's uh, and it's something about the relationships, kind of a uh, to them, it's kind of new. It's uh, um, a little bit possibly overwhelming. And so just after addressing that, we've just moved forward. And with the Three of Cups, it's just, this is celebration. This is emotionally open up here, uh, emotionally um, enjoying life um, and coming over over the star card. Um, it, honestly, it, that could be honey, that could 100% be your honeymoon, definitely honeymoon energy. And I love it that it's a, uh, cups and so you're opening up emotionally with this as well here cancer so i think this relationship that you manifested is going to serve you well you know in a cancer to a virgo or cancer in your sign uh typically by sun is a good match you know i'm astrologers i like to go a little more into it than just by sun but you know uh, as a place to start uh, that's certainly not bad so let me know what you think, guys. Do appreciate any comments. Smash the like button. That would certainly help the AI 
take a notice when God knows I need. And if you haven't subscribed, please do appreciate it. Open to personal readings, you know, hit me up, description there, or on Facebook Messenger. Have a good one.